Yes, it is. All right, I'm gonna just get this so we can all be comfortable. Oh, and let's just close our eyes for one minute. I just want you to hold in your heart just a little space. And just feel with each breath that deep, strong connection, community, and love. And every exhale, just releasing into that sensation. And we'll feel as we inhale a softening around our temples, all the things we can't fix, we can't change. And again, letting your exhale just create softness, a little release. And then let's use an exhale to just begin rocking your torso. So we can use um, the act of rocking just to comfort ourselves in a challenging moment. So I just want you to imagine you're a little baby. You're something small and vulnerable. And you're just going to take care of yourself for a minute. So your rocking can be forward and back. You can now move your rocking and take it just in, as a sway side to side. And just letting your torso go melt into those sensations. Without any agenda, just to comfort yourself just a little. And then you can Maybe make a few sweeping circles with your torso. And then let those circles move the other way. And then let it, your head kind of sway now with your torso, maybe finding a little release in your neck. So maybe your head moves one way just lightly as your ribs and your torso move in the opposite direction. And then we'll just sweep, sweep, sweep once again, all the way around. Good. Let's start to find a little movement through our shoulders. So the shoulders can come up around your ears, then they can soften, release, let go. Shoulders coming up around the ears. Good, and maybe just moving one shoulder for a moment, and then maybe just the other, right and left. And then maybe let the shoulders shimmy forward, just loosening, loosening around the head and neck. Good, and we'll take our hands and just do a little shake with your hands. Ah. And let that shake kind of move into your exhale. And then I'm going to interlace my fingers, reach my arms up, and then let the hands move to the top of my head. So this time I'm going to sway once again and feel a little stretch in my armpits. Good. And then move your hands back behind the head. Exhale, let the head move forward. Inhale, coming up, and exhale, letting your head be supported by your hands, letting yourself feel held here. Good. And then let's take your opposite arm and elbow and let the arms reach across your body. And we'll just take that side to side. Use big exhales to pull the arms. And 
And then we'll let the arms sweep overhead as well, just a few times. But we'll let the arms try that the other way. We're just noticing where there might be a little hidden tightness there. And then exhale once again, just shaking out the arms, shaking high and down low. And then we're gonna sweep and take your left arm to the outside of the right leg and just twist. Just wringing it out. And inhale a big sweep, finding your body, a little twist the other way. Good, let's take that twist again. This time move the hand behind the head, that same hand, and let the chest and armpit stretch as you twist. It's opening, finding a little space. Good, and then the hand moves to the ear and let the head come down. And then we'll exhale and allow the head to move the opposite direction. Inhale, open the arms wide. And then exhale, take that twist the other way. The hand moving behind the head. And now walking towards the opposite ear. And then inhale, and then exhale, same hand to ear. The head kind of moves away now. Just inhale, open up the arms once again, and then unfold the knees. And we're gonna roll the weight of the body toward your right leg. And then we'll just take a little light cat cow. So you're getting a little stretch through the bones of your pelvis. And again, keep finding yourself in that rocking rhythm. Allowing a little release. And then let's just twist towards the back leg for a moment. And then twist towards your front leg. Maybe opposite hand to knee, opposite hand to foot. Feel yourself held in this little bind. And then we're gonna exhale, stretch, reach your hips up in the air. And then reaching, bringing your hips down. And then the forearms into the mat. Good, and then from here, I'm just gonna extend my right leg and then come stretch over it. Give this just a few breaths. We're going to inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, unfold your bent back knee, and then we're going to rotate the whole body towards that leg. So again, begin with a little seated cat-cow, rocking the weight forward and back, feeling all those attachments, all that tissue in the hip stretch and release through that gentle movement. And then we'll use an exhale to sweep ourselves towards your back leg. 
if it feels nice to let the head go and the side of the neck stretch. Oh, and just really feel the exhales travel through you. We'll now stretch towards the front leg and reach your opposite hand behind you. Good, we'll inhale, sweep, bringing ourselves open once again. Um, press, lift your hips up. And feel the chest open so there's really a power in that lift through the arms as the hips release. Good, we'll exhale, come down and then let the forearms travel down. And again, a deep stretch into your psoas. And then I'll extend my left leg this time. Pushing up with my arms and then finding my left toes. You just let the body come move out. And we'll inhale. Take our arms up and extend two legs out. And just let the body float over the two legs, your torso releasing. We'll inhale, open, open your chest, open the two legs, and then let's go back to a little bit of that rocking. So I'm just going to let my rib cage lead the way side to side. And I've got my hands resting here on my legs, but not applying pressure. Just resting. Let's go ahead now and bring your two palms together. Slide the fingertips down and stretch your right fingertips into the left palm. Inhale and then exhale. Let the palm come out over the hand. And then exhale, stretch the two palms out, arms up. Checking in on your neck here. Just letting it move side to side. Good. And then from there, a big reach of the ribs over. Inhaling up and exhale, reaching the ribs over. Good. This time we'll open to the right side. Inhale, finding ourselves nice and tall, opening the other way. Good. Keep your breaths long. And again, keep finding that exhale, letting it move through you and open more deeply. So now we'll inhale, take your two arms up and then let the arms move forward. Let the sternum move a little forward and back. And then we'll float the arms back out. I'm gonna take my left leg all the way over to my right. And then just bring myself slowly, slowly 
down towards the mat, letting the fingertips float behind the thighs. Opening the arms and then letting the knees float one side and then the other side. Good, so the weight of the legs kind of is being held and supported by your abdominal muscles as you just travel side to side. Good, and then I'm gonna bring my torso back into my center and then just lightly bicycle my legs. So don't have to find full extension in the knees, but just kind of lightly chat, check in with them. Good, and then you can let the legs travel in the opposite direction. And then open the two legs wider than the mat and then begin a light stretch of the hips side to side. We're gonna use a big exhale and sweep the arms around the legs and let the nose come closer to your knees for just a moment. And then exhale, let the head move down. And your chin can move over each shoulder. And then I'm just gonna leave my arms hugging around my left leg as I let the right leg circle. And then circle around the other way. And then once again, letting my arms hug the right leg and the left leg in a circle. And then circle around the other way. Just exploring the hip side. Good, and then we're gonna take your two legs up in the air, turn toes to heels just a few times. And from here, let the two legs circle. You can do this with your knees bending. Just connecting the legs to the core. and then allowing them to travel in the other direction. Feeling that nice leg connection into the belly. Right leg and left leg move into the floor. And then we'll exhale and allow the pelvis to rise up. Let's now bring our hands underneath your torso and walk the shoulder blades together. Let the palms squeeze in. And then exhale, opening. Right ankle moves to the left thigh, rock the hip.
And then we're gonna push that leg down and bring the arms in underneath you once again, another big stretch. We'll inhale, let that go. Exhale, let the leg continue to slide across the body and take a twist. Your gaze can move towards the opposite hand. And then we'll use an exhale to bring those legs back up. And we'll take now the left ankle to the right thigh. And then once again, just lightly rock the hips. And from here, I'm going to push down with my right leg and bring my arms here underneath me, walking the shoulder blades together. We'll inhale, open the arms, lower the pelvis, slide the two legs together, and exhale, find a twist. Bringing the legs back up, let's hug them up once again over your chest and a nice little rocking of your back. And the right ankle can move to the left thigh. We'll bring that leg up and stretch. And now the two legs pulling together, hands here to your heels. And again, you can just lightly rock the back. Maybe even rub your feet. And then exhale, change the position of the two legs, left ankle, right thigh, and just rock, rock. And then your two legs moving together. We'll unfold in the legs, take the hands around your ankles now. And again, another light little bit of rocking. And then your hips open up. And then letting the feet float back down into the floor. Oh, the arms stretch nice and long overhead and then we'll roll ourselves onto your left side. And from here, taking your top hand to the hip for a moment, let that arm and leg stay connected as you push and lift in the air and exhale. and lift into the air. Good. 
I'm not just gonna hold, but I'm gonna knee come a little closer to my carpet. And again, if a little light rocking of the back feels good. Maybe a hand to the heel, extension up. Well, now I'm going to bring my hand to my ankle and let the knee move back. Feel it. Deep stretch there in the hip. Maybe extend my bottom leg. And then exhale. Bring that top leg forward. Take your hand to the bottom leg. And get a big stretch in that knee. Now we're going to just circle the top arm around a couple of And from here, I'm going to push in and find myself seated. So keeping that top leg anchored over my bottom leg, I'm going to hug it into me and twist toward it. Chin over the back shoulder. And then I'll let this top leg come down over my bottom leg, chin over each shoulder, ear to each shoulder. The right hand can move to your low back and then we'll take our fingertips towards each other. Allowing your jaw to relax, to lighten. And then we'll exhale, releasing the arms, unfolding the legs, find ourselves traveling down onto the other side. And same thing, this top hand to the hip. And so allow it to lift and lower together creating a little pressure, a little connection between the hand and the thigh. And we're just gonna hug that leg in and lightly, lightly rock the hip. And then we can bring this hand down to the foot and let the legs stretch up so open. And then this hand Coming down to the ankle and the leg stretching behind you. We're going to now let that bottom leg lengthen out as well. And then we're going to let the two legs switch places. So you'll bend 
top knee, let it come stretch forward, hand to the foot, back foot. I'm now gonna let my top hand be free here and just circle the arm a few times. And let it release, sucking in with the shoulder. And then we'll come Wash down with that arm. Let the top leg stay bent over the bottom leg. And take a moment to allow the hips to anchor. And then a twist towards the top leg. And then exhale, releasing, letting the two knees come one on top of the other here for a moment. And you may let the hips rock just a little. And then the left hand to the low back and your right hand up behind you can let the fingertips slowly, so no forcing, no shoving, just slowly move towards one another with the long spine. Then we're going to exhale, release those arms, roll the shoulders for a moment, and take your right hand out and the left hand out. And from here, just push for a moment into an all fours position. So we'll inhale, let the head and tail come up, and then exhale, float down. Inhale, the head and tail move up together and down. One more time. Inhale and exhale and then i'm going to sweep my hips all the way around just letting the sides of my body stretch and then inhale reach my hips back my head down tailbone up And now from here, let your tailbone move in and we'll still hold up a little bit with your belly muscles as you come stretch forward. Just easing your back a little closer to the floor. This time I'll come walk my two hands in just a little and bring my right foot to the outside of my right hand and let the hips lower down. Take your gaze over your shoulder. Good, and then move the hips back and take a big stretch. And then I'm gonna take my hands now to the outside of my right leg. And again, continue to mount the hips back as you stretch your hamstring. And then walk your right foot across the body. And 
And then we'll go ahead and bend the right knee and start by bringing your elbows just in, letting the hips stretch. And then we'll take our torso over the knee and stretch more deeply into the hip. I'm going to push my hands down, sweep my body back and over onto the opposite side. We're going to repeat that sequence here. So again, begin with a cat-cow, head and tail moving with one another. And then exhale. Sweep your hips all the way around, just a few times. And then we're going to let the arms float in and the head melt in. And inhale, bringing yourself up now, and slightly to the inside. The left foot can come and reach up. And then we're going to bring the hips down, the hips stretch. Good. And then a big breath moves the hips back. The head can melt here. We'll now take two hands to the outside of the left leg. And then I'm going to just walk the left foot to the right side of my mat. Continue that deep stretch of my leg. And then exhale, find a bend in my knee and bring myself forward. The exhales go just a little longer. And then I'll bring my ribs over with my left leg. And from here, inhale, bringing myself up, over, sweeping the right leg to the left, and exhale, moving into the belly. So now, so you're on your belly here, you can rock the hips, lovely, lovely, side to side. And then bend one knee, allow it to release, bend the opposite knee. Just feeling that connection into the leg. Let the two legs come and be long for a moment and then bring your palms onto the back and you can kind of rub into your sacrum here. Just feeling your bones. Let's bring the two palms up. And 
Exhale, now open the arms into a T-shape and then roll back on top of that right arm. So into the shoulder. Keeping the arms in the T-shape, rolling back, back, back. And now this time, reaching your weight. Allowing the chest and shoulder to open. And exhale back through your center. And then this time, you're just going to focus on the leg, stretching back behind you. Released through the hip. And exhale, slowly moving back down. I'm finding that stretch the opposite way. And exhale, releasing back into the floor. Two arms in a big Y shape. And then the palms press in, and the head and chest lifts, the chin lifts down and up. The knees bend. We'll exhale, release the head and bring the hands in. Head up. And chin over one shoulder, chin over the other. Bend the knees. And exhale, release the hands, can now move to your feet and you can just press the hands into the tops of the feet. Or maybe squeeze your toes. And maybe rub the feet. And then we'll stretch the legs back. Inhale, come up, walk the two knee joints wide and come stretch forward. We're gonna press our hands into the floor, curl the 10 toes underneath and lift the hips high. So let the tailbone float, float, float up as the head moves down. And then slowly walk the hands back towards your feet. And we'll hang for a moment in a nice forward bend. Be folding up your mat, your blanket. And then I'm going to inhale, come standing tall. Press my palms into one another. And then take a big step forward with my right foot. And let the arms float up. Get a little bend in the knee. And then bring the hands together behind my back. And take a fold over the legs. Exhale, push with the feet to bring yourself back up. And then step back. Release the arms, circle the wrists. Circle the other way.
and then palms together. Take a big step forward with the left leg. And we'll push the right heel into the floor. And inhale, bring the arms up. The front knee bending, the back knee straightening. And then we'll bring the palms to the low back. And exhale, fold over the front leg. And exhale, push through your, both of your feet to bring yourself back up. And we'll step the back foot to meet the front. Okay. And then we're going to turn to face the computer or face your screen and lift your left heel and roll the heel up. Bring the palms together once again, the foot to the shin. The arms can move up. Hands down, set that foot down. Try that on the other side. Turn the heel in, the toes out, palms together, foot to the shin. Arms can move up. And the arms can move back. Good. And now this time I'm just going to let the left, that right foot cross in front and bring my palms all the way in and take a forward bend. Inhale, sweeping the arms back up, hands behind the head, make this a little back bend. And exhale, release. Change the cross of the two legs. And then once again, sweeping the arms back behind you, inhaling up and exhale to forward bend. Inhale, pushing into the feet to bring yourself all the way back up. Arms reaching out to the side. And now, hands behind the head. Good. Exhale, releasing the arms. And then releasing the legs. And then we're just going to take your blanket that maybe you fold it up. And you can place it running horizontally across the mat. And then I'm going to exhale, just come let myself, my torso, right across my shoulder blades, rest on my little blanket roll. Uh, let my chest open and release here for a few breaths.
and slowly let the arms cross the midline. You can maybe rub into your neck a little bit. Maybe rub your neck, your ears, into the temples. Into your jaw. And then we're going to open nice and wide and then just roll to one side. And press into a seated position. And um, bring the palms together. Bowing the head, closing the eyes. Your practice is a gift, everyone. Thank you oh so much and enjoy your evening. Namaste.